And so it was. And people strived to become Kalokag Athos. Which meant good, compassionate, accepting, trustful and virtuous. And logic reigned, inasmuch as the book revealed that the best kind of life was the one lived in accordance with reason. And superstition was stamped out, along with the kind of beliefs that were not based on rational arguments or scientific investigation. Alas, the latter took some time to take root among the members of a fringe political group called the Snisselbooper. And among the many intellectual virtues, wisdom was considered the highest. And people engaged in contemplation, as contemplation was considered the activity of wisdom. And since virtue, according to the book, was a character trait that manifested itself in ways similar to habits, it was just as learnable as a habit. And that shaped the educational system of these post-apocalyptic societies. And people valued friendships as the book told them that these were the highest and best of all human relationships. And a great brotherhood of men and women was spawned. millennia passed by and people seemed at ease and happy and since everyone behaved thus hatred discrimination racism and wars were all allayed and science flourished and so did the arts and literature and when one day a new genius Atrebla, Nietzsche, no relation to the previously mentioned Nietzsche, proved again the non-existence of God. People were not disturbed by it. Because, having lived a life of rationality, virtue, and magnanimity, they were incapable of contemplating any other sort of life in its stead. And the Nicomachean ethics was finally accepted, even among the Snisselbooper, for what it was. And having shed the enslaving need for approval from the earthly representatives of non-existing deities, people also accepted themselves for what they were. And the discussions about deities ceased. As silence was thought to be the best way of talking about that which did not exist. <laughs>